welcome back to another episode of Amanood What? <laughs> Mr. G! It's me, Mr. G, coming to you live once again from the fabulous studio, Emma. Welcome to week 16. Let's jump right into it, friends. Window Omanute. Hey everybody, welcome back. Welcome to week 16 of Omanute with Mr. G. Week 16 already, it's crazy. We're almost two thirds of the way through. I hope you guys are having as much fun watching these as I am making them. Also, I hope everybody had a safe, happy, and healthy week and it is great to see you guys again. So week 16, Window Omanute. We have kind of a fun, quick project today. At least the video will be short, but I hope you guys enjoy doing it. Um, so let's remember what omanut means. Omanut is a Hebrew word for art. So window omanut. We're going to make art for our windows. And the idea for this came from Rabbi Ari looking outside and realizing, you know, it's been really gray and really cold and it's always cloudy. I think we all need a little sunshine in our lives. So we're going to make some art that hangs on our window that kind of uses the sun to make it look nicer. Kind of like our stained glass projects. However, you guys probably also noticed we got a lot of snow this week. So this one can also kind of reference a snowflake if you want. You'll see what we do once we get started on the project. So like I said, this is gonna be kind of a short and quick video. I hope you guys have fun. Let's just talk about what we're gonna to need to make this project. So this is another situation where maybe you guys don't necessarily have the materials you need at home. I, I think most of us might, but if not, I'll put my email at the end. You guys email me and I'll make sure I get the materials to you guys one way or another. I want everybody to try this that wants to. So the first thing and most important thing that we're gonna need is a coffee filter. And this is just a plain white coffee filter. Mr. G went to Walgreens the other day and I bought a whole bunch of these things and it was maybe $2. But like I said, if you don't have them, I'd be happy to bring them to your house or mail them to you, however you wanna do it. The next thing we're gonna need, and this is also pretty important, is markers. There's a trick to the markers this week. They need to be washable markers. We can't use a Sharpie or any kind of permanent marker. These needs to be like the washable markers, the one that wash off real easy because we're gonna do something with water that's gonna affect them. And water doesn't necessarily affect permanent markers very well. So we need to make sure we have washable ones. Crayola ones are perfect, but I know there's some other brands out there too. And again, if you don't have them, I can get them to you. Uh, third thing we're going to need is water, like I said, but after making a few of these, I realized the best way to do it is with a spray bottle, if you have one. So maybe you guys have an old spray bottle laying around, or maybe you have an empty spray bottle from like a window cleaner or something. Those work great. If you don't have a water bottle, it's no big deal. There are tricks to work around it. But if you have one, I've realized it actually makes it work a little better. The only other thing you might need, and it's not totally vital, is uh, maybe a pair of scissors. And that's about it for materials. That's all we're going to need. Um, what am I forgetting? Every week I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah, special guest. I have a super awesome special guest this week. This is something that my friend's mom made for my director, Emma. And it's a little mouse. And she made this thing out of felt, or it's called felting is the technique. And what she did is she started with a ball of wool and you use a little thing called a felting needle and you kind of poke and poke and poke and poke and poke and you can sculpt felt into these cute little shapes. And she used different color felt inside for his ears, different color felt for his nose and different colored felt or wool, I should say, for his eyes. She made this little guy just by taking a ball of wool and poking it with a special kind of needle. It's called felting. I've never tried it before, and this was her first try, and she did a pretty awesome job. She added this little string for his tail. I think he's awesome. Anyway, little felted mouse. Aside from that, I think it's time to get started on this project. We have another special guest too this week. You'll notice my assistant director, Molly, the little one, helps me out in this video too. She's pretty funny in the background if you watch. All right guys, let's get started. First thing you wanna do is put something down underneath where you're gonna be working. Cause this can get a little messy. It's water and markers and let's keep the tables clean. Then you wanna grab a coffee filter, just one, flatten it out, and then pick some washable markers, whatever color you like. 
and start making designs. Whatever design you want is fine. Here, Mr. G's doing a spiral design and I'm adding blue and purple, maybe another blue. Hey, let's throw a little yellow in there too, why not? Once you're finished decorating your coffee filter, just put it to the side and hey, let's make a few. I'm gonna grab a new coffee filter, I'm gonna flatten it out. This time I think I might do like a bicycle spoke pattern or a star pattern. So I'll start with some stripes that go from the outside in. Then I'll fill in the middle with some orange marker. I have noticed that the more marker you add, the better these look. So go crazy, guys. Uh, let's do some stripes on this one. I'll start with a pink stripe. Maybe add a few blue stripes. Um, hmm. I wonder what my assistant director, Molly, has been up to this whole time. Molly, can we see your hands? Show Daddy. What do your hands look like? Once you're finished decorating your coffee filters, you're going to want to put them in a shallow, washable dish and just give them a light spritz with water. If you don't have a spray bottle, you can just put a little bit of water at the bottom of the dish. But the main thing is that you just want to wash the dish out in between coffee filters if you're making more than one. Otherwise, there's a lot of ink at the bottom and it can blend together and start to look pretty muddy. So here's our four coffee filters after we've let them dry. And they don't really take that much time to dry, maybe half an hour if you just leave them on a paper towel. These are the ones Mr. G made, and this is the one that Molly made. So let's think about some ways that we could decorate these. They could be done right now if you just hung them on the window, but I think we're gonna make them look a little bit fancier. And I have two ways to do that. So one cool way we could make these look neater is if maybe we drew a Star of David on there. And I know we've talked a lot about uh, how to draw Stars of David before. We draw a triangle, and then we draw another triangle upside down so that they overlap a little bit, right? But let's try to make this one perfect. And a really good way to do that is just find another round object. I'm gonna use this roll of tape. And we can take a pencil and we can lightly trace a circle right in the middle of our coffee filter. And now, what that helps us do is when we draw our triangle, if we make sure that the point of the triangle hits the circle, that it should look really neat and even. So I'm gonna take a regular blue marker, now that my coffee filter is dry, and I'm gonna draw my first triangle, right side up, inside of my circle. I'm gonna make sure the points of my triangle hit the outside of the circle. So I've got one triangle, and I'm gonna draw my other triangle and make sure that the points of this triangle hit the outside of the circle too. And just with a little bit of extra effort, you can see how perfect that Star of David looks. I'm sure some of us have seen paper snowflakes before, right? These would be perfect for these. And especially because by the time you guys are watching this, I bet if you look outside, it might be starting to snow. So what we're gonna need for this is a pair of scissors and one of our coffee filters that we made. So the way that we're gonna start, we're gonna take one of our coffee filters once it's nice and dry and fold it in half, like a taco. Now we're gonna take this taco and we're gonna fold it in half this way. So now we have a piece of pizza. And we're gonna fold this piece of pizza in half one more time so that it looks just like this. Now, using a pair of scissors, and you can use safety scissors or regular scissors, either way, you're gonna wanna cut some shapes out along the edges. You're gonna wanna do both edges. You can do triangles, you can do squares, it's whatever you guys want. I think if you kind of switch it up a little bit, sometimes it looks a little more interesting, but I'm gonna start like this. I'm gonna cut a triangle out, just like that. Now I'll cut a triangle that goes the other way. And now I'll cut a big triangle up. So I've cut some shapes in. It doesn't matter what the shapes look like when you cut them, you'll see how it works. Just make sure you leave some of the edges stuck together. I'll cut a triangle out this way. And another little triangle this way. And then when we open it up, Wow! 
So when you open it up, you can see that we made this really cool snowflake design. Uh, let's do another one just so you guys can watch what Mr. G is doing while we're making it. So we take one of our coffee filters that we've already decorated and we fold it in half like a taco. We turn it and we fold it in half again. And then we fold that one one more time so we have this pointy pizza piece triangle. So we're gonna cut shapes out from both sides, but we need to make sure that our shapes have a little space in between them. So watch what Mr. G does. I cut one triangle like this. And then I have to move over because if I cut here, we'll have a big hole. So I'm gonna have to cut a different shape, but I have to make sure that I leave a little bit of space in between the two cuts that I made. And I can do another triangle here. And it doesn't really matter what shapes you want to make. You can experiment if you want to make a few of these. Anything you make should usually look pretty cool, but just make sure that you're leaving a little bit of space in between the cuts that you make. So I cut this triangle out. I want to scooch down a little bit, and then I'll cut another big triangle out. And I'll pull that stuff away. And then we very, very carefully unfold it. And we have another super cool looking snowflake design that we made. Okay guys, so here's just a couple ideas. I wanna see what you guys come up with. Think of a crazy way you could decorate your window on the newt. We have snowflakes and we have stars of David, but I wanna see what yours looks like. Please send me pictures. So once you're finished, guys, too, all you want to do is take a little bit of clear, maybe scotch tape or anything you can think of to hang it, and put it on a window that gets a lot of sun, and you'll see how amazing they look when the sun shines through them. Well, I hope you had fun with that one. I had fun making it. I know this is a quick video, but I made it quick because I want you guys to get outside and enjoy the snow. It only happens a couple times a year. We should have a lot of fun in it. Send me pictures of you guys sledding or building snowmen. I'd love to see it. Otherwise, I miss you guys, and I hope you have a safe, happy, and health week. And I will see you guys soon. Bye!